Greetings and welcome to Evening Prayer. On this Sunday evening, the third week in Lent, our evening prayer begins on page 296 in our prayer books. Let us join together. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. Let my praise rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. I have called on you, Lord. Come to me quickly. Listen to my cry when I call to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense my uplifted hands, like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard on my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Don't incline my heart to any evil thing, to deeds of wickedness with those who are sinners. Don't let me share in their feasting. Let the godly strike me. It will be a kindness. If they correct me, it is like oil on the head. Let me not refuse it. Let my prayer be against the deeds of the wicked. When evil rulers are thrown off the sides of a cliff, the people will hear my words, for they are well spoken. Like rocks brought up by the plow, so the bones of the wicked will lie scattered at the mouth of the grave. My eyes look to you, Yahweh, my Lord. In you I take refuge. Don't abandon my soul. Keep me safe from the traps set by evildoers, from snares they have laid for me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. The day is now past, and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, you hate nothing you have created, and you forgive the sins of all who repent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our failings, may receive from you the source of all mercy, perfect remission, and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in this thy mercy's day, ere it pass for us away, on our knees we fall and pray. Lord, on this thy spirit pour, kneeling lowly at the door, let it close forevermore. By thy night of agony, by thy supplicating cry, by thy willingness to die, let thy tears of bitter woe for Jerusalem below, let us not thy love forgo. Grant us neath thy wings a place, lest we lose the day of grace, ere we shall behold thy face. Return to Yahweh your God, for he is gracious and merciful. O oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, and whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand was of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you to watch over you. Do not hide a senseless rule or mule or horse, the need 
that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. So, so rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all you who obey him. Shout for joy, all you whose hearts are pure. Return to Yahweh your God, for he is gracious and merciful. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my plea. Answer me, because you are faithful and righteous. Don't put your servant on trial, for no one is innocent before you. My enemy has chased me. He has knocked me to the ground. It forces me to live in darkness like those in the grave. I am losing all hope. I am paralyzed with fear. I remember the days of old. I ponder all your great works and think about what you have done. I lift my hands to you in prayer. I thirst for you as parched land thirsts for rain. Come quickly, Lord, and answer me, for my depression deepens. Don't turn away from me, or I will die. Let me hear of your unfailing love each morning, for I am trusting in you. Show me where to walk, for I give myself to you. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I run to you to hide me. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Because of your faithfulness, bring me out of this distress. In your unfailing love, silence all my enemies and destroy all my foes. For I am your servant. Return to Yahweh your God, for he is gracious and merciful. God reckons as righteous those who believe in him, the one who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. For Christ was handed over to die because of our sins, and he was raised to life for our justification. Since we have been justified in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Through Christ we have gained access to the grace in which we stand and rejoice in our hope of the glory of God. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Since we have been justified by his death, how much more shall we be saved from God's condemnation? Since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. Return to Yahweh, your God, for he is gracious and merciful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Return to Yahweh your God, for he is gracious and merciful. A reading from 1 Corinthians. Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training, and they do it to win a prize that will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training to do what I should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. But if it dies, it produces a rich harvest. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. 
He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. And he has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his offspring forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. But if it dies, it produces a rich harvest. Tonight, merciful Father, we draw close to you in prayer, encircled by the defense of your love and your grace, acclaiming your goodness and your love, made manifest to us in so many ways. For the gift of grace going before and always guarding us, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the passion you give us to respond to the promptings of your love, we give you grace, Lord God. For the dedication of those who lead and guide our inquirers and candidates towards new life in Christ, we give you thanks, Lord God. And for the courage of Christian missionaries who seek to share the gospel throughout the world, we give you thanks, Lord God. As we rejoice, we remain vigilant, knowing that while our enemy may seek our harm, you seek our life. Become our defense, Lord God, and prepare us for battle. May we never turn away from your call. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. May we never walk in anger and bitterness. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. May we always seek to root out sin and evil from our lives. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. May we always stand confident in your mercy and love. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And in your unfathomable goodness, shatter our fears of death and assure us of your gift of everlasting life. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Father, we pray for those that are lost in the clutches of sin and despair. May they find the gift of freedom offered in Christ. We pray for those that are struggling so much with mental illness. May they find healing of mind and soul. We pray for those who live with those struggling with, with issues, O oh God, for they affect the whole family. May the whole family find peace and joy in you, Lord. Thank you for bringing Bishop Todd back safely from his trip to India. He's home now. Lord, as he gets back to work again with us tomorrow, may he be there for us, Lord, and may we be there for him as well. Help our order, O oh Lord, to encourage one another to grow spiritually, to grow numerically, to reach out to the world around us. Help us, Lord, begin our day in prayer, begin our day seeking you, in the early hours of the morning, may we find you, Lord, as you wait for us to come. O oh Lord, Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your faithful. And with confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
Look with favor upon us, O Lord our God, and your compassion stretch out your right hand to defend us. Guard us from all adversaries, that we may happen to the body and from every evil thought that might challenge the soul. At the last day, comforted by the sure hope of your salvation, grant us the privilege of beholding you face to face through the grace of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord, my God. And now, Lord, dismiss your servants in peace. For your word has been fulfilled, our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. And may souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, thank you for being with me tonight and joining in prayer. What a wonderful way to slip into the evening hours ending a busy day. To pray to our God for all things, for he hears us and he answers. Serve him, live for him, commit your life to him. He already committed his life to you on Calvary's cross. May the Lord bless you, and may you be a blessing to those around you. Amen.